there, Mouseketeers. Kate from Princess Minnie here. Welcome back to Vlogmas. I cannot even believe it's day 11. Let's go ahead and move the star to the 11th pocket. Day 11, December 11th. I mean, I can't even believe it. I think I just finished my Christmas shopping last night. Um, I did most of it in October, I will tell you that much, but there was a little bit more I had to get done and I think it's officially done. But today is not about a gift for someone else, it actually was a little gift from me to me. So this year, Amazon released a Funko Disney box. and. As soon as I saw what was inside it, I knew it had to be mine. I pre-ordered it, and I think I pre-ordered it for about $30. It is now, as of, as of today, which is December 11th, it is on sale. It's either $20 or $25. I think it's a tremendous deal. If you're interested in this, I'll show you what's in it. And I think this could also be a great Christmas present for someone else. It's a lot of stuff in here for a pretty low price tag i think let's go ahead and just open this up check it out i can't wait to see it in person and i'll let you know i have this christmas disney amazon box but i also have two other amazon collector funko boxes to share with you this vlogmas so stay tuned to those but i really wanted to show you this one because you can get it on sale if you if you if you if you hustle okay so this is what i'm seeing when i open the box and the things i'm most excited for are still at the bottom so oh i'm so glad these came in boxes i was worried these were just going to come like loose or in a baggie or something but you have two pezzes you have a winnie the pooh in a santa hat and you have piglet in a santa hat and i love these characters but i have to be honest i'm not a pez person like when i was a kid oh forget about it i would have gobbled up some pez but i don't even remember the last time i tasted pez and so i think that these are going to be christmas presents to other people so i gotta get these wrapped up but it's kind of fun you know i bought myself something and it came with gifts for others isn't that lovely Pooh looks adorable now piglet looks really cute but he kind of looks stern maybe let me show you a close-up of these they're hilarious else that was on the top are pop pins and I don't think I had very many I might only have maybe like four pins that are Funko Pop looks to them so we have Mickey as Santa Minnie as Mrs. Claus I do still need to get the Funko Pops of those we have Donald with a gift bag so I don't know if maybe he's supposed to be Santa also and then we have caroling Goofy. So I would love for them to make the Donald and the Goofy Funko Pops as well. That would be super cool. But I'll get these on a pin board and show you. I will say the Mickey and the Minnie are my favorites. I think these pins are super nice. I cannot wait to put them on this year's Christmas pin board. Next up, in these boxes, I have tend to see in all of the Amazon collector boxes I have bought, there has been a t-shirt. This one you did not pick your size because there is no t-shirt. There is a pair of Christmas socks that matches the Santa Mickey pin or the Funko. And they're pretty cute. Um, I'm definitely going to keep these. I think they'd be really adorable like over some black leggings. Um, and I, maybe I'll even wear them on Christmas or Christmas Eve or something. But, you know, they might be too big for me. <laughs> I'm not sure because they are just like one size. And if that's the case, then I'll give them to my husband to wear. But I don't mind wearing them a little bit large probably anyway. I think they're super cute. Of course, the colors are very Christmassy. I would much rather have had a t-shirt, but pretty nice. And finally, what this box is really all about, the exclusive Disney Christmas 
Funko Pops in here. So the first one is Mickey Mouse, and it's not just Mickey Mouse, it's ice skating Mickey Mouse. I think he's super cute. I'm gonna go ahead and show him to you in the box, but then I will take him out of the box so you can get a good look at him that way. And he might need to end up in my background for the rest of Vlogmas. last my absolute favorite thing in this entire box Pluto Christmas holiday Pluto he's wrapped up in string lights and he has a candy cane and um, the summer of 2019 my family went as a, as a big group to Disney World together for the first time and we actually wound up just having so many amazing experiences with Pluto. And so for that reason, I have really grown to love Pluto more and more and more. So this is definitely going to be one of my absolute all-time favorite Funko Pops, just in general, not even Disney or not even Christmas. Again, I don't think you could go wrong buying that box either for your own collection, for a gift for others, or split it up. Like, I'm not going to keep the Pezzes because I just know other people who would enjoy them more. Or maybe the socks could be a good gift for someone. I really hope that this is a start of Disney and Funko and Amazon collaborating to do lots of these boxes. I would definitely buy another one next year, especially it would be great if it had Donald and Daisy in it or Minnie to go with that Mickey ice skating. That would be really cool to continue the theme. We are going to do our mystery ornament of the day. Let's see who we get. What is this one? This one feels heavy. Oh, perfect. It's one of the characters we had in pin form today, but not Christmassy. We have a Donald Duck ornament. And like I said, I've been collecting these ornaments for about two years. I think this one was from last year. Whenever Donald Duck's 85th birthday was, because it has a little 85 celebration disc uh, right underneath the ribbon, it is a Disney sketchbook ornament. It was originally $20, but I'm certain I paid less for it than that, whether I bought it before Christmas on like some kind of deal or whether I got it after Christmas. I can't recall, but it has Donald Duck in black and white on one side and then his more modern form in color on the other. Uh, we're big Disney Duck fans in our house, so this was a must get. Definitely one of my favorite ornaments from this uh, Vlogmas advent calendar that we're doing. And um, I'm gonna have to put him on the tree now. Do I put him to the side so you can see both? Or do I just change him around every once in a while? I'm not sure. I might do it so you can kind of see both. If you put it the right way, his, he's facing out from both the black and white and the color version. So maybe we'll go with that. And there he is. Um, I do want to just in case anybody's wondering, I showed this shirt off a couple videos ago. It is from the small shop Hiya Pal Co. I found them on Instagram and I really, really like their shirts. They have really cute holiday designs and I love how much space this one's taking up. I love the cream color and I do think it just, you know, looks really good with 
a pair of black leggings so you can kind of be casual but Christmassy at the same time so I don't work with them I'm not affiliated with them in any way but if you like this shirt I will go ahead and link that Instagram down below as well or their small shop down below in case you really liked it it's my first time wearing it on the channel for vlogmas so pretty excited about it and then guys I had such a fun time doing this uh, Amazon box it was nice and fast I am obsessed with that Pluto figure so you're probably gonna go ahead and see those guys for the rest of vlogmas thank you so much for watching let me know what you thought about this box down below what would be your favorite thing or would there be something in this box that you would gift to someone else let me know and let me know too would you prefer the socks in a box didn't mean to rhyme right there but it happens <laughs> would you prefer the socks in the box or would you prefer a t-shirt I wonder. Let me know. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll see you real soon.